Okay, now with the camera to see the cylinders. Uh, the number one has the same thing like the number five. It's not a critical. Just because I'm alone, I have to crank the engine, I have to change the position of the piston, and then I have to put again the camera inside and see the pistons. Now I'm in the bank two. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Again, it's not critical. It's a common on M157, unfortunately. I'm talking about there this mark on the cylinder wall down there. I can show you another engine that I have already opened it. Just a second, just a second. Uh, here you go. Forget about this. Yeah, this is still here. I'm talking about this kind of marks, like this, not with the scratches. It's just been polished the cylinder wall. Ah, you can see from this side, this one. This and this. This usually it's happening either if it expands so much the piston ring, if it's warm up the piston and the piston ring, it'll gonna start uh, polishing, let us say, if you want the cylinder wall, or a lack of lubrication. If you don't change the oil often, and or if you put thin oil inside, and if you warm it up so much, you can have the same results. I'm talking about these kind of marks. So, and then obviously, like all the time, the cylinder wall, it comes like um, like a skin that's not, let us say, like this, it comes like that. Okay? Yeah, that's why you see the lights. I have said that how many times. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, when they come the guys, because I'm a little bit busy, I have to continue with the Daza. When they come the guys, they'll gonna put for me the sparklers back in place. Uh, put some coolant inside, actuate the intercooler pump and put some coolant also there, uh, fix the oil level to be safe, and then I'm gonna make one test drive on the street to see the high pressure pumps, the low pressure pump back, to see, be, because I think that he told me the, the customer that he's cutting the car, it's misfiring or it's cutting, something like that. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do, but not now, later on. Let's now go to degrees the Daza. That's a different video, yeah, yeah. Let's just now start the car. It ran like shit. Which axle, Omar? This one, this one. Yeah, it's the bearing. Yeah. God damn it. I didn't saw that. I saw the bearing that was gone. We have a bearing. No. It runs like shit. Make the car down. No, I cannot drive it. I cannot. I cannot make a test drive like that. The middle friction bearing is exploded. It's not only that's missing the the seal. Make it down. Make it down. I saw the. Make it down. I saw the the bearing mm -hmm. that came out the dust cover, you know. Mm -hmm. I said okay, most probably it's dry, it came out the dust cover. I didn't I didn't make it up and down. Request okay, voltage. Fill pressure five. Five bar. Okay, let's see the high pressures. The high pressures. So, how was the second engine, right? Yeah, it definitely has the second engine. Auxiliary battery manufacturing. Alright. Leave it running. Leave it running. Don't turn it off. Let me see one second the high pressure pumps. Position of crankshaft. Crankshaft. Fuel pressure system. It's too low. Six three seven eight. Okay. Let's go to see the high pressure. Okay. Fuel system high pressure control. Thirty nine degrees hundred bar. It's not from the fuel. It's not from the fuel. Six 
cylinder number four. Starting. Okay. Let's make the adaptation for the camshafts to see. To check the timing. He was driving the car like that, didn't have any sound uh, from the bearing. Okay, go inside, make ignition on only. Turn it off, ignition on. Ignition on. 65, uh, start it again, start it. I need another 4 degrees to, to be able to start again. You remove the BD? Amazing. Okay, Omar, turn it off. Ignition on, please. Okay, stay there in one minute, please. Eh? Ignition off. Off. Okay. Ignition on. Off. On. Start. Off. On. No, it's not stretched the timing chain. Half degree, 1.6, 1.34. It's fine, start complaining about that. Uh, cranks of the sensor, Omar. The, the bearing and the cranks of the sensor to be able to test drive the car. Let me clear the fault. Just give me a second, one second. One second, stay where you are. Eh? Ignition off. Oh, okay. On. <coughs> Just a second to clear the faults. Well, let's start again to see what kind of faults we can have inside. they have done and what they have messed with it's for number five seven okay you have any used spark plugs yeah okay five and seven only turn it off from this side number one from this side and the third from this side. Change these two spark plugs to see if we're gonna be better the, the or how it's sadly. Only this side. Eh? John, we're gonna do something faster. Yeah. Uh, get the five, the fifth ignition coil to the number six mm -hmm. and the number seven to the number eight. Okay, that's right. Yes. Five to six, seven to eight. The eight you'll put on the seven, and the six you'll put on the, on the number five to see if we can transfer the fault. Because the spark plugs, were, there was not suffering that much. It might be the spark plugs, but this is faster and easier. If it's a coil, we'll put two used coils just to see how it's idling. 
five to six, seven to eight. Still have on the number five, on the number seven. Okay, don't warm it up more, turn it off. Five and seven, change the two spark plugs. Put two new spark plugs. We don't have a used spark plugs, we are putting two new spark plugs. Let's test it. Don't remove the OBD. Be careful, don't, don't remove the OBD. Start it, start again. Five and seven, no misfire anymore. The old spark plugs are there. We put two new spark plugs on the number five and number seven. It runs much better than before. What does mean that one? Need the spark plugs. Simply. Okay, Mr. John, turn it off. All right. Bolt down the coils again as it was. Close everything from here. Put the foam down. Put everything, the car out until we talk to the customer okay. and we can see whatever he can decide what he wants to do okay so just only the only thing what we did except of the checkup forget the top up of the coolant forget the top up of the engine oil two spark plugs yeah. okay so checkup and two spark plugs only okay. that's it uh, if he doesn't want the spark plugs there's no problem we can put back again the other two okay. if he wants to put the other two put it on the first cylinders put the number one and number five that's much more easy accessible yeah. for him uh, so that's it for now. I don't know how we can continue with that. The car was misfiring on the number five and number seven. The bearing on the axle, it's exploded. I showed that there was a problem. I have it on video, but I didn't move the, the shaft, the axle. That's it. That's it for now. Thank you.